Hello, my name is Arti and we are going to solve practice problem 6.10 from Sadiku book. So this is the circuit. We have one inductor and one capacitor and IL is the current that passes through this 6 Henry inductor and VC is the voltage across this 4 farad capacitor. So we are asked to find out VC and IL under DC conditions. Okay, what does DC conditions mean? It means that the voltage and the current is in DC condition which translates into inductor become short circuit and a capacitor will become open circuit. So we need to redraw the circuit under DC conditions. So let's translate that under DC condition. Okay, let me draw the circuit and I will back. I will be back. Okay, here is the circuit that has been redrawn. So our inductor becomes short circuit here. So IL is the current here. This is IL. And VC, VC is the voltage across here because this is parallel. This will be the same as this voltage. So this current that pass, not pass through, this current between this node and this node is VC. So we have that and this is 10 ampere current source. Okay, let's do the analysis. So let's name this node as node A and this here as our ground, which means the voltage here will be zero. So KCL at node A, we have here and this one. So we need to do KCL at node A. KCL at node A which is the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. The current that goes in is only this one, which the value is 10 ampere. And then IL, which is equal to VA minus 0 divided by 2. So I will have VA minus 0 divided by 2 and then this current that goes down here which we don't name it but the value is VA minus 0 divided by 6 so I will have 10 is equal to VA over 2 plus VA over 6. Now we can multiply both sides by 6. So I will have 60 is equal to 3 VA plus VA or 60 is equal to 4 VA and we have VA. Let's do it here. VA is equal to 15 volt. And remember that VA is equal to VC. So we have our force value, which is VC is equal to 15 volt. Here. Okay, now from VC we can find out IL. Okay, let's do that. Let's do it here. So we will have IL. IL is the current that pass through this 2 ohm resistor. So the value is VA minus 0 divided by 2. So VA minus 0 divided by 2. And VA is 15. So we'll have 15 minus 0 divided by 2. So we will have IL is 15 divided by 2, which is 7 and half ampere okay now we have VC and IL done but we still need to 
find out the energy stored in the inductor and capacitor. So this is the two formula that we need. So energy stored in a capacitor is one half multiplied by the capacity multiplied by the voltage squared. And for inductor, it's similar formula. So one half multiplied by the inductance multiplied by the current squared. So let's save this VC and IL so we can calculate this and I will clean the board. Okay, now that we have VC and IL, we can calculate the energy stored. So we can just plug the formula. So I will have the energy stored in capacitor is one half multiplied by the capacitor multiplied by the voltage squared. So we'll have one half multiplied by the capacity is 4 farad and then the voltage is 15 and we need to square this and this will cancel out into 2 and that will be 2 multiplied by 225 which is 450 okay and then for the inductor we will have energy stored in inductor which is one half multiplied by the inductance and then the current square or we can use one half multiplied by the inductance which is six henry multiplied by 7.5 squared and this two and six will cancel into three so i will have 3 multiplied by 7.5 squared and 7.5 squared is 56.25 and then this will be this will be 168 point 75 joule so i don't have calculator so i calculate this manually so sorry if this will be a mistake so i don't know i will check it later but this is the final answer so the energy stored in our capacitor is 450 joule and meanwhile the energy stored in our inductor is 168.75 so this is the four answer that we are looking for okay hopefully i did not make any calculation mistake thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share this video if you find it interesting and helpful thank you